What's going on, everybody? This is Jay Bone from the Nerf Herders Podcast. I just want to apologize for being absent from the last week with the lack of anything video game related on our channel. We got two things for news today. Uh, I'm sure you might have heard of them, might have not, but anyways, let's dive right into it. So, the first thing is a rumor, this is rumor, a possible leaked photo for an upcoming Superman video game from the people who made Arkham Origins. Now, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight were done by Rocksteady Studios. Arkham Origins was done uh, by Warner Brothers Montreal, and it wasn't even that bad of a game. A lot of people didn't really like it. Uh, I mean, critically, it was eh, like sevens, eights. Uh, user reviews, people didn't really, you know, find it. They found the world very empty. Ish. Now, mind now, you know, mind you, this was on PS3, Xbox 360, and stuff, and I believe PC too. But uh, the game wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. I beat it. I had a really good time with it. Um, but now, this leaked image is showing, you know, a new 52 skin. Uh, what seems to, it's obviously an Xbox, uh, like a layout controller. So it's got to be running on some sort of like PC port, you know, or something that they're developing. Obviously, it can't just be running on an Xbox One. Um, that's my assumption. I mean, I could be wrong, whatever. But uh, I mean, Superman looks cool. He looks like Superman. I think it looks a little, mm, a little cartoony. I don't know. Like, am I excited for this? I am. I want to be, but not really because how do you make a Superman game and make it good? I mean, Superman 64 for Nintendo, that shit sucked. That they say I don't know if you know this, but Superman 64 they said was one of the worst bugged out pieces of shit games in history. They just made a they they recently made a joke that the Arkham Knight PC port was worse than that Superman 64, which I don't buy that for a dime. But, uh, but I mean, how do you make a Superman game challenging, fun, uh, without being repetitious, without being it too easy? I even feel that even in Arkham Knight, when I'm doing the uh, uh, dual uh, co-op with uh, you know Nightwing or Robin or Catwoman, I find the enemies almost a little too easy for me. You know, and I, that this is Batman. You know, this is the third installment of this of the series of the trilogy. So, how do you make a Superman game, you know, fun and exhilarating? And I feel like you have to kind of almost go like the God of War route with having Superman being challenged with big, um, like either machines, like tanks or missiles or, or or jets or something, or even you know, like an invasion, say like Doomsday or something. You know, as like the boss or the final boss, like this, like a big fucking guy instead of like instead of like foot soldier thugs, because that would just be stupid and pointless. I don't know. I mean, this is a possible leaked photo. Who knows if this is real? Who knows if this is fake? I mean, I think it's real. I I think this is something that got slipped into the cracks and they probably thought, well, shit, you know, or maybe somebody from the development team slipped it through the cracks on purpose if they were told to to see what people would think about it you know some sort of like a pr stunt you know but next up we have Ub the uh, the ceo of ubisoft uh i don't know if i pronounce this right eves gilmott admits that the expectations were a little too high for watchdogs in 2012 when they revealed it now now if a game is going to be shown like in case point the division at e3 2015 when Division at E3 2013 looked fucking amazing, and now 2015, it looked like it was running on current gen hardware, and it definitely, definitely looked downgraded. If you think that that game did not look downgraded, then you need to get your eyes rechecked because it definitely was. And I think this is what Eves was kind of talking about that, you know, from moving forward now, what you're going to show is not a PC powerhouse that people think that they're going to play. What the, what you're gonna show them is what it's actually gonna look like on, you know, console. So, I think that's the right business move because Ubisoft has been getting, has been under the chopping block, you know, for a couple years now. Ever since Watch Dogs, it seems, you know. But uh, that is it. But I just want to uh, wrap this up by saying thank you. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We would really love it. I would really love it. 
and I'll see you guys next time. I will try to get more videos, uh, hopefully about two or three videos uh, the remainder of the week. So please look forward to that. Thank you very much, everybody. Later.